Hello Mercy College and welcome to World Toilet Day. I'm Professor T.H. Colhain. I teach at Mercy College and I teach at the University of South Florida, which is where we are today at the Sandberg Family Inventors Commons. And here, the engineering department has worked with the Bill Gates Foundation to prepare a solution for the toilet problems we're having around the world by making their new generator resource recovery center. Now, what I'm eating here is coming off of the biodigester that transforms toilet waste and food waste into fuel and fertilizer. Total nutrient recovery. And yes, I'm eating you know what, SH, you know. But you know, when they say eat SHI, you know what, and die, that's not what happens here. Here you can eat the results of a transformation of poo, let's call it poo power, and get very, very healthy food and live better. Let me show you what this thing is about. Right here is what we call vertical aeroponics. It's a form of hydroponics where you use the nutrient solution that comes from fully biodigested animal and humanures and food waste. And that liquid fertilizer, or liquid compost, flows through these membranes and then provides the nutrients to the plants. It's rich in NPK or nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And as you can see here, it's an autonomous anaerobic membrane bioreactor, or ANMBR, for high-performance off-grid sanitation and resource recovery. Water and nutrients in, the membrane produces plants out. <clears throat> you can't see what's inside, so there's a diagram. The nice thing about this is that it is in a small container that can be dropped in any place. And let's take a look at some of the applications, places where it can be dropped. It can be dropped in slums and informal sediments, as is. It can be used for ecotourism in remote locations because it's completely off the grid. Schools, parks, and housing developments. Yes, you can put your dog poo in here when you're walking the dog. And some places like MIT have tried that. It works fine. Light gas lamps at night for people walking their dogs to keep them safe. Single or multiple toilet households to form a mini grid and emergency and humanitarian settings, certainly for refugee camps, which my wife and Asana have worked in in Palestine and Jordan. This is a perfect solution. And as you can see here for this high performance off grid sanitation and resource recovery anaerobic membrane bioreactor that's autonomous, you sit down and do your business. The wastewater goes in, the nutrients are recovered going into growing plants. The water is purified going in to grow the plants, but the purified water also loops back for flushing the toilet once again. So you're not using any new water. So you've got the organic waste, and here is our, it shows you can use food waste as well as toilet waste. All organic waste can go in there. It goes into this high-rate anaerobic biodigester, and then the left liquid effluent goes into a membrane reactor to purify the water. Energy comes out as biogas, that's a biomethane, and then the nutrients come out for growing in NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and the permeate of purified water comes out for pure drinking water. So you're taking all of the things that we consider icky poo, icky stuff, sometimes pathogenically dangerous, and turning it from a bad into something really good. That's the idea behind the new generator, and of course, that's the idea behind the work we've been doing that we started at Mercy College some seven years ago, and that we're continuing through Solar Cities, our New York and Pennsylvania and Florida-based non-governmental organization that's been teaching people at Mercy College and around the world how to build their own biodigesters. This is just another iteration of that concept. If you look up at the top here, you can see, and maybe come over here to show it, you can see that it's got one, two, three, four solar panels, and the size of these solar panels is two hundred and eighty watts. So it's got about a kilowatt and a about one point two, one point three kilowatts. So over a kilowatt of power from these solar panels powering the whole thing. And the last thing to show you is the big. The big picture, if you stand back, you can see. So the electricity is coming from the solar panels. The toilet is inside. The anaerobic membrane digester is inside. Um, and you do your business. Actually, no. Take that back. The toilet would be a separate facility that would be pumped into the new generator resource recovery machine. And then the water goes with its nutrients to grow the delicious food that keeps people healthy 
all over the world. That's the idea behind our World Toilet Day innovations. We're going to come and see a day when toilets are not considered a problem, but are considered a blessing. That's the thing, and that every human being that we have, every new baby that's born, every new person who moves in, every new community that's built, will be providing more nutrients, providing more healthy food, providing better, cleaner water, and providing wonderful, clean, renewable energy, both solar and biogas for generating electricity and for heating and cooking and for running refrigerators and air conditioners. So it's a great innovation. So we welcome you to the USF Research and Innovation Solar Power Research Demonstration Project and the Innovation Park. We hope you will please try this at home. Right at that.